folks, this is J.W. Stevens of Nuisance Wildlife Control, and we're on a farm here today where we're doing some uh, predator control. This guy here, this farmer raises sheep, and he's right in the middle of lambing season, and he's already lost, uh, I think it was three lambs, newborns, to coyotes, and um, We've, we came in here a couple weeks ago and we've already taken three coyotes out and today we've got uh, a red fox in the snare. Uh, he's uh, deceased from the snare. Uh, we don't uh, use cable restraints here because there are no dogs running loose. But anyway, um, if you don't think that a fox will take down a newborn lamb, well, you're drastically mistaken. So I'm going to switch the camera around and give you a shot of the fox in the snare. Okay, what I'm going to do now is remove the red fox from the snare and remake this set step by step so you can follow along and watch how I do it. tangled. This is the difference between a snare and a cable restraint. With a cable restraint, you're not allowed to have any tangle situation. big male not allowed to have any tangle situation for a cable restraint because of uh, the likelihood of dogs getting into the set okay we got the old snare off and we're going to put the new one on and um, for this one this barbed wire is pretty new so with the farmer's permission we're going to go ahead and just hook it to this bottom strand because we got good posts and in, in newish um, barbed wire here so we're going to go ahead and just hook it on there Now I'm going to get my 14 gauge wire that I already had here and get it ready, get my snare loop out, make it, we're going to try to put a, about a 10 inch loop. pinch a 14 gauge wire onto the snare so that it holds it. Okay, there's where we're going to put it for the coyote. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of these sticks that are laying around to help block him in. Try to make it as natural as you can in doing this here. So that they'll go straight through here again. Now the trail, go, it's a real good trail goes back through there. I expect to have something else in here within the next few days.
Okay, what we've got here, folks, is uh, another crawl under, or trail that comes through this, this uh, underneath of this fence right here. An excellent one. Um, and the, the landowner uh, has a, a coyote on the trail cam uh, just straight out into the field this way in a ditch. And it was coming down the ditch and down into this, this um, trail. Now what I'm going to do, I've got my West Virginia certified snare. I've got two extension cables that I'm going to hook to this post right over here, a stable post. And on these extension cables I have my trap tag, my name tags. So I'm going to go ahead, hook this extension cable up on this post, then come over here and do the business of the snare. Okay, that's all the longer it took took me to, to hook the extension cable up to the post over there. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to unwrap my snare. I like to wrap them up about the same size as my snare loop so they don't, uh, the memory doesn't make them uh, real small. Okay, there it is. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run <clears throat> the end of my extension cable through my loop, like this, and then run the end of my snare through the end of my extension cable, and that locks the two together. Like that. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my 14 gauge wire. I'm going to need about this much of it down here, so I'm going to wrap. Around the fence. Like that. Then I'm going to wrap around the second strand of wire, sort of crimp it, and then around the top, the third one. That way it keeps your support wire from spinning. Now there are different ways you can fasten your snare to your support wire. And this time I'm going to make my loop about like that. Then I'm going to come back here and just wrap my wire around the snare. That holds it up like that. That is just about right. Move it over just a hair. Okay, that ought to be good for any coyote that comes through. And you might say that loop looks pretty big, but when he comes through, the, this bottom fence wire is up high enough that he's just going to duck his head down a little bit. He's not going to have to get on his belly and crawl and put his feet like that there. He's going to come through and his top of his legs or his chest 
it's going to hit this bottom here and the rest will be history. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull, you see I got this twig here, I'm just going to stick it like right here, if I can get it to stick. A little blockage. Okay, and that set is finished.